What is up guys, I'm back to another video. Today I've got something slightly something different for you guys. Today I'm just going to be talking about EA Sports and FIFA. So, if some of you may not have heard, for, uh, I think it's FaZe Tass has now been the second player to get banned from EA Sports events. I'm just going to talk about that and the state that FIFA's in and EA and FIFA YouTube, that kind of thing. Because it's all a little bit all over the place, as you can probably tell. Now, about a month ago we had Kurt banned. Now... In my opinion, he stepped the line. He's a very much a controversial person that likes the attention, likes to, likes to think he's a bit of a hero. And I can understand why EA would ban him. And also, he's just a, he hasn't got the best personality for anyone to be fronting an esports thing. Like, as much as he said, I made Ace esports this. Yes, you're good at the game, but you are not a good personality to be on YouTube. And I stand by that, so I think Kurt's ban was all right. I'm going to start off by saying that. But first of all, we're going to head back a little bit. Now, I'm a big fan of his, as some of you may know. So, it's looking back. FIFA has really changed. In 14, up to about 15, when price range kicked in, FIFA was the most popular games on YouTube. Up there with your likes. Not quite Minecraft, but you call the duties and stuff. Now, Fortnite's taken over, and EA... And the FIFA community have taken a dip in viewers and everything else. So, and it's been really quite noticeable. The amount of players that have, YouTubers that have dropped out, John, other things, Mini Minter, I mean, KSI left years ago, but lots and lots of them just quit after a little while. And it suggests that EA aren't quite up there with the other games. You see other gamers and they kind of stick with them, like, and obviously Ninja and stuff move about. And I can't say I know a lot about the likes of Call of Duty, but I'm pretty sure. Most of the players stick through thick and thin with their game. Whereas you don't see that as much. Obviously, you've got Bates and the Penthes, some, but a lot of people have left. And that suggests that there's something fundamentally, fundamentally wrong at EA. But other than. And that's kind of where it's starting. Like, the lack of quality customer service at EA just pisses some people off. And I can understand the lack of quality in the game at times irritates me when making content like most time it's good but sometimes EA just need to pick it up a little bit put in that extra shift and get knuckled down on the servers get knuckled down that last bit of content because there are some things they do that's a little bit disappointing I don't remember back in FIFA 17 I think it was Movember cards I'm all up for lots of card signs but plus, plus 5 physical for 20k I think I'm good it doesn't add anything to the game now to be fair to EA, some of the cards they've released recently, I've been very impressed. I think Foot Swap, a great thing to get the casual player involved, make it easy for them to unlock sick players for pretty cheap prices. Now, for me, it's going to be Jillaboggy, but I'm not going to backtrack off the topic of what I'm trying to talk about today. Now, I've mentioned the overview of my thoughts on FIFA. The content, I think, is good in the game. I think the content's good, but the servers need to be improved Quite heavily, and I think they have got the right people on there. The likes of Corey, the likes of Zaro, Kyle Riley, those guys are improving the game. They are being more responsive, but it's up top, it's up the top of the pecking order. That's where things need to slightly change. Like, I understand it's a business, but they are too slightly too monetary value focused at the moment, and it's creating problems for the company. And the fact that they're banning people who are speaking out against the game is not the way to go about it. And I see some retailers going, it's fascism or something. It's not. They're allowed to do it. It's their event. It, it's like saying, you're not allowed to come to my birthday party. As, as six-year-old as that sounds, they can do it. And as stupid as it is, I think the Kurt thing was the right decision. It made people think, are we stepping the line? But if people are continuing to speak out against it and say, this is wrong, that is wrong, They've probably got a point. And I don't know how many pros they're going to go and buy and ban. I mean, Tassie's at phase. He's been a hashtag, I think. I've never seen him as someone controversial. I've never seen him as someone who's going to go out there and create a fuss. So why ban him, I don't know. And I think it's just a waste. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the next time they go out there, they go out and they hit on someone popular because they've made a small complaint. Probably not Spencer, but the likes of Hashtag Harry, F2 Techers, just someone who's not a dick. That like, Kurt's a bit of a dick, I'll admit that. But someone that's not very controversial or anything, is genuinely seems on the outside like a nice guy, they'll go away and they'll ban them for a stupid, stupid reason. Like, criticising the servers, criticising the content in some way, and they'll ban them. 
and it'll just it'll push people away from the esports game because yes ban someone if they've been a dick one time but don't go ban everyone that makes a complaint look at the complaints see which ones are recurring and go away and knuckle down on that that's what you need to focus on go away and sort that out so that is my rant about EA Sports in the terms of or the esports scene and how EA should improve the, I, another thing I'd like to see is they should put polls and stuff or something I mean I know you've got reddit forums but polls on their twitter that kind of thing what kind of thing do you want to see focused on that could even if it just gives a basic idea really helps at least give them a focus point I suppose which I think they need they I know there's a lack of effort in places but if you can get those that are willing to work to be working in the right places I think the progress can be made and I think progress has been made from 18 to 19 I do prefer the gameplay it's much better this year it's only occasionally between like week two and week four is dog shite but they picked themselves up and they improved it so in that respect I am impressed that I think they've done all right and I think content's been strong I think the screen cards were great I think the new introduction to Division Rivals is great. I think the new weekly rules for Foot Champs is great. Dropping it down to 30 games is great. Lots of good improvements to the game, but they still have a long way to go to make it up to the level of some of the other games that we have. Obviously, Fortnite's taken over recently, and I suppose that would have made them wake up just a little bit, I suppose. And the second thing I was going to talk about was FIFA YouTube, because obviously I'm no one big. That much is very much evident, but... I don't get, and I, I, I don't know how to explain, why do people make, and this is just my personal rant now, this is, this isn't anything that EA do, this is a rant of people that do trading tip videos and those kind of videos, what's the fucking point? Like genuinely, in my opinion, it is some of the worst content out there, like, it's just not, A, it's not very interesting, the point of the game, and people forget this, the point of the game, this isn't just you, this is anyone playing, and people grinding foot champs every week. Like, I know one kid, I'm not going to name any names, but I don't care, he's up <coughs> banging out foot champs every week. He's like, I got um, a red someone, I'm not going to say who it was so in case they know who I'm talking about. But it's like, yes, you've got all these sick players, but I just played with Schweinsteiger because fuck it, I like him. And the thing is, people forget, that is the point of the game. You look back to FIFA 12, people are just fucking about whatever teams they could bring together. Just players that they enjoyed using. Now, by all means, go out and try and grind, try and get some coins so that you can get a sick team. But, at least try and enjoy the game at the same time. If you're playing 30 games every weekend, and then division rivals all the time, you're just going to become sick of the game. Like occasionally, maybe, I'm going to do foot chance, but really, I can't do it on a regular basis. It's not exciting, it's not interesting. No one wants to be doing 10 hours of anything a week or over the weekend. Nobody does that. I barely sleep 10 hours a... I don't even... Some people don't even sleep 10 hours over a weekend. So, why you're playing 10 hours of foot champs, I do not know. It's not worth your time. Unless you're a pro, don't do foot champs every week. And don't grind. Because the thing is, you're grinding, you're grinding, you're grinding. But what are you trying to get? Like, at the end of the day, you get your player. You're like, yay. And that's it. You don't actually unlock anything. So, my advice to just people trying to enjoy FIFA more... <coughs> stop grinding out all the stuff, stop following all these trading tip videos, make 5k here, make 10k here, enjoy the game, <coughs> <coughs> fucking hell, just enjoy the game, for what it is, use these random players, I'm silly though, but use these random players, just because you want to, throw in a little whole silver team, whatever, just go out and enjoy the game, for what it is, and enjoy the game, that's the thing I think is lacking from FIFA, in current years, it's become so esports focused that it's like, what's the point anymore? Like, there can't be one winner in the whole game, that's not how it works. You should be, and it's like people that rage quit as well. You're 2-0 down, maybe if you're 4-0 down, 5-0 down, and you're just getting hammered, rage quit. But if it's 2-0, you've gone down. 90th minute, go back yourself a goal, it feels good, why not? You enjoy putting scoring, that's the point of the game. So, you may as well go out there, play with a team you enjoy, play with players you enjoy, even if they're not god squad material. If you're a huge Messer Ozil fan, as shit as he is on the game, go out and use him. Like, he's supposed to be your favourite player, actually use him, rather than just ignore him. Now, 
I think I'm not going to do a rant on Career Mode because actually I think it's not as bad as everyone makes out. But I hope you guys have enjoyed and have a think about FIFA in this way that A, is it worth EA banning all these people? And B, remember to actually enjoy playing the game. Because that's the point of FIFA, that's the point of all these games. You don't play them as a job unless you're one of those big time people in which case I understand. But it's not a job, it's a game. Play the game, don't grind forever. That's boring. Go out, enjoy the game and I hope you can see that I try and do that and I try and encourage people to make more exciting things. I've got a random ideas like a Bastion Schweinsteiger I'm never going to use. Using random informs, like, yes, they're not going to be the best, but they look cool. So why not give them a try? I'd never use them normally. So I hope you guys have enjoyed something a little bit different. I hope it's not very exciting, more informative than anything, in my opinion, on a few things. But I'll see you guys next time. We should have either some Ajax career modes or something out tomorrow. Of course, the final season that, so I'm excited to see if we can win the Champions League. But a little bit of a rant there. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please help me hit 100 subs. I've left it to the end, but if you haven't subscribed, go do that. Actually enjoy the game. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.